So today we'll be looking at characteristic function of standard normal distribution. You can see we talk about standard normal distribution, which is derived from uh, our uh, normal distribution function. But in this case, we talk about mean of zero and variance of unity, that is variance equals one whereby the mean is equals to zero. So now let's go. So the normal distribution with mean zero and variance one is a standard normal distribution with density function. Now we'll look at the density function of the normal of the standard normal distribution and this is given us z equals to 1 over 2 pi exponential raised to power 1 minus 1 over 2 x raised to power 2. We can see from this distribution now our mean is equals to 0 and that is why we have this function here. And then the variance which is 1 um, multiplied by 2 pi and that is why we have just only 2 pi here and we don't have any variance here. So if you look at this now since our mean is equal to 0 and variance is equal to 1, so there is no mu or sigma that stands for uh, variance. So now, we look at the characteristic function. So the characteristic function is given by this definition and we have it as saying Phi subscript x of t w equals to expected value. Then we have a uh, exponential iota w x iota w x. So for whatever integration or whatever uh, integration of calculus we're going to be using here, we are going to be integrating with respect to w. And if there is any need for us to differentiate, we'll also be differentiating with respect to w so now the characteristic function is given as phi subscript x of w equals to expected of exponential resupire iota w x now this exponential um resupire iota w x which is a complex now we can break it down to make it seem uh trigonometry then we have it as e equals to cos wx plus ie sine wx so this now will already expand this this is the exponential by iota wx is what we have as cos wx plus i sine wx but outside here we have this um expected now using this expected to multiply this expansion and that is why we have expected of course wx plus since we have a, a imaginary here then we'll take it outside so we have a expected of sine wx so representing this using uh integration we're going to have the same this is integral minus infinity to infinity cos wx z dx plus i minus infinity to infinity sine wx z dx now what we have here is what we have here now then because we are finding the we are trying to look for the characteristic function of normal uh, standard distribution normal stand uh, standard normal distribution so now we said Instead of we have cos wx, this is it, then multiply by the standard normal distribution, which is z. You can see we have some z here. Now we have uh, the x plus uh, i integral, then we have a sign this function here, which is this, then still multiply by our um, uh, probability density function of standard normal distribution now if you look at this part now if you look at this part now with this um, imaginary i here so we'll see that this is uh, an old function this is an old function 
and the fact that it's an old function means we are not interested in anything that has to do with this which will definitely give us a zero so we said i to grab minus infinity with this sign w x z x is an old function so we are going to have this as the file subscript x of the bu minus integral what we have here you can see we are only talking about this now since this is an old function and we just said uh, this is a uh, zero then what's left now is uh, this uh, integration here which is called wx z dx now we already know that phi subscript x of w equals to integral which run from minus infinity to uh, positive infinity now cause w x z dx so now this phi we are going to make use of it later in this uh, tutorial we're going to make use of it later in this tutorial so now let's go further and we should not forget that we have a, a z here which is a probability density function of a, a standard normal distribution so now going forward we say next is to differentiate the characteristic function with respect to w so we need to differentiate the characteristic function with w so in doing that we're going to have d divided by the w phi subscript x of w equals to d over the w uh, expected of exponential return w x so we differentiate respect to w and we have this now what else can we do here now so if since we have an expected value here so we can just simply bring it out so that we are going to have an expected of dw of these uh, um, uh, characteristic function is exponential iota w x so this is what we are talking about this was say equals to exponential dw into bracket exponential raised to power iota w x now if we differentiate this exponential iota w x with respect to w so this will definitely give us um i iota x exponential um raised to power iota w x so the differentiation will give us this we say expected into bracket iota x into bracket exponential iota w x bracket close now this imaginary iota i we can bring it out so that we're gonna have it this way i is uh, expected of x exponential raised to power i w x and we should not forget that we can expand this in form of a um, trig and this is going to be a uh, cos w x then plus a uh, sine w x but we shouldn't forget that we already have a, a imaginary i uh, outside the bracket here so this will lead us to the expansion here we say i eta e into bracket x cos w x minus or plus i eta plus i eta e x sine w x now what we did here now is that we know the expansion of exponential i eta w x is what lead us to um, this cos w x then um, imaginary i sine w x but already we have this x here so multiply by the expansion here that's why we have our x cos w x and x sine w x and for the sine this 
i is part of the sine wx on the i mean the expansion now i eta e expected value multiplied by the ODs. that's why we have expected uh, i eta expected multiplied by this bracket then i eta expected multiplied by this bracket now in complex number this i multiplied by i will give us minus one so since we are going to have minus one here multiply by this positive so the next line will take negative and without any imaginary because if you multiply this i by i we're going to have a negative value and this will give us i expected of s cos w x plus um, sorry minus expected x sine w x so brackets close that's what we are going to have now now we can also integrate this since we are working with an expected of this uh, function here and the expected of this function here so finding the expected value of this function here we're going to have a i integral x cos and also here we're going to have a i integral x sine and this will give us this um, i integral minus infinity to positive infinity then x cos w x z dx minus integral minus infinity to positive infinity x sine w x then multiply by z dx now that we have this we can see that we have our imaginary i here the iota we have it here so which automatically translate that the whole of this function you know is an old function the whole of this function you now is an old function and as a result of that we can place it to be just be zero therefore all we'll be left with is this the other function which is minus integral x sine w x z the x and from here we have this <clears throat> so data x is an old function so we have d over the w phi subscript x of w equals to minus integral minus infinity positive infinity x sine w x multiplied by z data x now we shouldn't forget that we started the whole of this from this point here so the result of this is what we have here and we've concluded that this is an uh, is an old function therefore it is eliminated which is uh, uh, zero here so now we still have our uh, derivative of phi of this x of w and that is what we have here so we should not forget that so from this point now we're not going to have this uh, since our z is a standard normal distribution so we can simply uh, substitute back the distribution so we're going to have a minus integral minus infinity positive infinity x sine into bracket w x multiplied by 1 over 2 pi exponential raised to power minus 1 over 2 then multiply by x raised to power 2 dx so this is now the standard normal distribution multiply by this function now since we have a derivative with the derivative of the characteristic function here so this line now will become integral minus infinity to positive infinity sine w x now we're now going to differentiate this we say d over the w into bracket one over two square root of two pi exponential raised to power minus one over two multiply by x square then the x so the x so having that now show that 
we are differentiating this um, normal standard distribution now and we know that this normal standard distribution is z according to the probability density function of standard normal distribution so this level now we can write it this form and we're going to have it as integral minus infinity to positive infinity sine w x d over the w z multiplied by the x z multiplied by the x now we'll differentiate this function with respect to x because we are dealing with x here and not this uh, w this time around so now since we have a 1 over 2 square root of 2 pi exponential is power minus 1 over 2 x is power 2 which is um, a normal standard distribution and is given as I said and that is why we have this z here now we have this two we have two function here now the first one is this function and the second one is this function now using this uh, integration we can use integration by part to find the value of this or to evaluate this uh, integration here so we say uh, evaluate using integration by part evaluate using integration by part so if we evaluate this using integration by part now we're gonna have this I uh, remember the uh, what's it called the formula for calculating the equation by part which is our uh, integral u dv equals to uv minus integral v du so from that applying the formula here we're going to have this next thing open bracket sine into bracket wx multiplied by z then the interval minus infinity to positive infinity minus integral minus infinity to positive infinity w cos into bracket wx multiplied by z dx so now as we can see now since the interval is positive infinity and negative infinity and we have a wx in a bracket here so the whole of this is going to be zero the whole of this is going to be a zero so we'll be left with this uh, the other part of this integration here now so now our d over the w phi substitute x of w will now be equals to minus w integral minus infinity to positive infinity cos w x multiplied by z the x now what have we done here since we have a w as a constant now bring it out and that is why we have a minus w here you shouldn't forget that we are still dealing with the derivative of uh, the x uh, the characteristic function so now we have this we already have two uh, results already we have result the one i circled the other time which is a uh, phi subscript x of w uh -huh. then with uh, phi subscript x of w then which is a uh, minus integral cos w x multiplied by z dx it's just like this we have a cos w x z dx but we don't have a minus w here that is for phi of the x of w now for the um, derivative of this uh, characteristic function so we have um, this now and we have a minus w integral which runs from positive infinity to negative infinity and then cos w x multiplied by z the x okay let's see using the previous two results which are using the previous two results for d over w of phi subscript x of w and uh, phi subscript x of w for phi subscript x of w and five derivative of five of x and w then we're going to have this but before we move to the next slide this the result we got here is an integral runs from positive infinity to minus infinity 
cos wx multiplied by z dx and uh, as well we have uh, for the derivative of the characteristic function here we have these uh, function here so going forward we're going to have this so that d over the w multiply by phi sub to x of w equals to minus phi sub x of w we can see that now which means we have this derivative of characteristic function which is equals to minus the characteristic function here now so what next do we do now right. subject to normalization requirement requirement phi subscript x of t of zero equals expected of exponential iota zero x which is will be equals to one of the Gaussian probability probability density the only function that satisfy this ordinary differential equation equation when the integration constant when the integration constant is seen to be one is now as you can see here say subject to normalization requirement which is um phase of the x of when our w now is zero we're going to have this and definitely it's going to be equal to one so this is a Gaussian probability density function requirement. Now, the only function that satisfies this ordinary uh, differential equation when the integration constant is seen to be one is what we're going to write now. So this is a uh, phi subscript x of w equals to exponential raised to power minus one over two multiplied by x uh, multiplied by w raised to power two so this is what we have now as uh, the characteristic function which we have uh, exponential into brackets minus 1 over 2 uh, w raised to power of 2 so we say the characteristic function of standard normal distribution is uh, finally we have this phi subscript x of w equals to exponential raised to the power minus 1 over 2 multiplied by w now that is our characteristic function for standard normal distribution this is a characteristic function for standard normal distribution exponential raised to power minus 1 over 2 w raised to power of 2